friends, welcome back to my channel, NBC Lifestyles Diary. My name is Marie, I live in New York and I love fashion, cultural events and traveling and I'm asking you to join me on the adventure. Hey, so today I'm doing a shopping haul, but it's not in one specific place. It's just the casual shopping that I do and then I accumulate a bunch of stuff. So that's what I'm going to share with you today. And I was thinking like, I love shopping and I joke about calling it an addiction. And I was analyzing what is that about? And what it's really about is enjoyment and pleasure in adorning oneself. But a little bit of background. Um, I went to Catholic school where I had to wear uniforms and I had to wear uniforms for a very long time and the uniforms were not attractive. So I think I never got over that and which made me even more obsessed with clothing and beautiful things. Coupled with that, I didn't come from money. Whoa, surprise. And I had to figure out a way to buy beautiful things within my price range. So that shopping also became an adventure. Like, where am I gonna find these beautiful things? It's a hunt. And I was never into trends because you didn't wanna look like everybody else. And when things are trending, it's when the price is um, most expensive. It was also looking for uniqueness, for beauty, uh, cost effective and that explains me. So if you watched my other videos you know that I went to Haiti and I went to this wonderful art fair and I told you that there was jewelry and clothing. So this is what I bought from the art fair. I think it's stunning and striking and 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 beautiful. This is a necklace and this is a really great bracelet and it's a cuff and I really like it. And then I fell upon this uh, fashion designer, his name was Miko, and I was walking up to his stand and I saw this beauty. I was like, oh my God, this is gorgeous. And, um, I, I wanted the dress, but of course I'm big busted and I was worried it wasn't going to fit. And coincidentally, my cousin Katsu was there and that was one of her clients. She was uh, building his house and she was like, well, try it on and Miko will do the alterations. And that reminded me, right, that's what it's about. It's not you fitting the dress, it's the dress fitting you. So I'm really thrilled with this original piece from Miko. I know he has an online store. So if you like that, I suggest you check it out. So then the next thing I hope you remember is when I took the transatlantic cruise and I ended up in Valencia. And I want to show you this beautiful piece of uh, jewelry that I picked up. And it's a bracelet. And I loved the design. And um, this is the cuff from, from that travel. And then if you recall, there was another one where I spent a week in the city. So I of apartment sitting and I ended up at the vessel and I walked into Zara and I was annoyed because of course nothing fit, but the accessories are stunning. So that's this purchase. Also at Zara, I was seeing these pocketbooks that I love, but I couldn't Phantom paying that much money for, for plastic. And um, so I didn't buy them, but I did like the style. But lo and behold, I do always end up at Marshall's. So maybe I should call this a Marshall's haul, even though there's bits and pieces from other places. And I walked in and I saw this bag, um, supposedly made in Italy, leather. And it's a gorgeous bag. So I purchased this and I'm thrilled. And if I 
don't want to keep wearing this or I need a longer strap, it's included. And, <laughs> you know, yes, I'm always shopping. So on another adventure, look at this one. Not only does the stunning color capture my attention, look at this. I'm loving this. I'm loving this gold. It's a nice little bag. It's roomy. And it also comes with a strap in case you want to elong it, elongate it. And then I found this bag. I don't recall where I found this bag. It might have been in in Marshalls, but I just, I love the color. I loved the design. I thought it just uh, kind of popped and it was different than anything else that I had. And of course, the joke is I love anything that sparkles and one never has too many evening bags. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I still get a kick just looking at it, you know? Is it practical? No, look how pretty, come on, tell me you love it. And the next adventure is I needed a frying pan and I said, well, oh, let me check out Marshall's because they usually have good deals. And of course I strolled into the store and it was January, so there was no more Christmas uh, stuff going on. The January 1st sales was over. The store was kind of empty. Merchandise wasn't plentiful and people weren't around. And, and, and this just called to me. Look at this. I love this. And then magically, <laughs> as I'm strolling, this called to me. Look at this. All ready for the summer. Aha. Uh -huh. And you know, guess what? Yes, I'm taking my mom on a cruise. So it ties in nicely. And wait, there's more. In January, I'm finding this. Doesn't this scream Caribbean? Summer? Warmth. This will be could be a cover up. I could wear it as a as a tunic. So many things I can do with it. And then of course this. And I'm like, I think I've had a dress like this before, but I don't have it anymore. <laughs> and I'm loving the colors. Caribbean vacation. Caribbean vibe. All right, guys, you know the drill. I'm gonna try them on for you. So what I like about this dress is number one, the material. Um, it's a very heavy linen. And then of course, I love the detail in the skirts, the embroidery. I like the A-line cut, which is very flattering to the figure. And as I said, this dress was made for me because it was very tight across the chest. And just with a, a look, he was able to adjust it. And it's a, it's a custom fit. Um, I think it's very elegant. And if I go back to Haiti and my cousin Florence decides to throw an elegant cocktail party, I would wear this. I would wear this original dress. So look at this outfit. Isn't it giving summer all day? Rooftop. Zara earrings, look at my bracelet from Spain. It's giving me rooftop babies, standing by the ocean. It's blue, white sands. Now, really transparent. So if you're one of these girlies with a slamming body, I guess you'd wear it with a bathing suit underneath or, you know, wouldn't mind showing your stuff. But I'm, I'm enjoying just the summer that it evokes. So this one I love. I love the gold, the knit, the see-throughness of the bottom. 
just the way the sleeves gently fall. I really wouldn't wear it with black shoes, but you know, hey, I put my summer sandals away. I'm just making it work. I do have gold sandals that would go with this. I think that would be a better look. I'm loving this dress. Oh, I forgot to mention these earrings that I got in Cartagena. And I think it looks great with this dress. Um, as I said, my summer sandals are away. So sorry for the black shoes, but get the outfit. Uh, doesn't it scream summer? Doesn't it scream cruise? So this dress I love a lot. I love the vibrancy of the color. I love the cut. Um, it, it's a very happy dress in my opinion. And of course, and of course, I ignored something, and that is here. It's a little tight, and I don't really think it's supposed to, this is supposed to be showing. But I was like, I tried it on, I put it back, I took it, and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to make this work. And I'll take it to the tailor and maybe put a cloth here, or work something, or just leave it like that. Because, you know, So here it is, my Haitian jewelry, the cuff, this necklace, which can be also extended to lower down. Um, I love this look. I love the material. I love the uniqueness of it. And uh, for me, I realized one of the reasons I fell in love with it is because 1960s movies, baby, Barbara McNair. So another conclusion that I've come to while doing this is that we are very inspired by what we see visually in the world. So even if you're not looking at trends, I am a big movie goer. I love foreign films. I love films from the 60s. And I realized that, especially when I put this look on, I was just like, right, I'm channeling something I saw as a child. And that's what brings me joy. Is I get to realize it. And then I'm looking at some of the color palette and I'm like, yes, inspired by the Brooklyn Museum um, Africa style and just the vibrancy of the colors and, you know, everything influences us and how we process it is how we express it. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did and I'll see you next time. Please remember, give this a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and share.